Albums are an awesome way to sort through your images and create selected catalogs of photos that you want to access for specific reasons. For instance, creating a slideshow for your portfolio. Let me show you how easy it is to create and edit albums. On the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see the Albums pane, and right now I already have created one called My Favorites, and these are just favorite images that I've compiled together. To create your own, you can click on the plus button on the right-hand side of the pane, and you'll have two options, Create Album or Create Smart Album. We're going to start with a basic album and select that. You'll need to enter a name for that album. I'm just going to call this Images of Friends, and these will be photos that I want to compile together to show my friends later. If you've selected photos in a folder, you can click Add Selected Items here as well, and they'll automatically be added into this new album. We'll go ahead and click OK for now. It creates that album on the left-hand side in the Albums pane, and then I can go through and click and choose the images I want to add into it. I'm just going to hold the Command or Control key on my keyboard. We're going to select a couple of the images I want to add in here. Once I've got them chosen, I just click and drag them into Images of Friends. Then when I click on that album, it'll show me all of the photos that I applied in there. If you want to go through and remove a photo from an album, you can right-click or control-click that image, scroll down to the middle, and choose Remove from Album. You can continually add more photos to your albums just by selecting different folders and going through and adding them manually. Now, smart albums are very different. They help you create an album based on specific criteria, and they only work with your favorites and watched folders. So let's go ahead and click that plus button one more time and choose Create Smart Album. You're going to need to start by creating an album name. Let's call this one Best Images. These will be all of the best top five starred photos in my favorites and watched folders. I'm going to scroll down to my Ratings and Labels section, click the five star. You'll see you can also choose liked or disliked photos, as well as the ability to choose a color rating. You can choose a date range, so if you only want to show photos that have been taken in the last 30 days, if you've got a lot of favorites and watched folders, this is a great way to whittle it down. You can also go through and select a specific search criteria. This goes through and searches the metadata in your image, so I could choose, let's say, photos that only have an ISO of 200 or lower. It'll cut out any images that might have a lot of noise, and then I could save those and put them in a special folder. And you'll see once you choose a specific section, on the right-hand side, you'll be able to open up this drop-down menu and choose a specific number. Once you've gone through and you've created your criteria, go ahead and click OK. It'll create that album on the left-hand side of your screen. I'll go ahead and choose Best Images. And these are all of the five-star photos from both of the folders that are in my Favorites Watch section. To remove something from this, you'll need to adjust the criteria. So let's say this image right here, I don't necessarily want it. Maybe it's not a five-star image for me. I'll just click the four-star rating, and it'll automatically disappear. It no longer has a five-star rating, so it can't be in this folder. You can add photos into this by selecting an image. So let's go to that miscellaneous photos folder. There are a couple images here that don't have a five-star rating, but let's say I really like this image and I want to add it in. I'll click five stars, and when I click on Best Images, that photo will automatically pop up. If you right-click or control-click on any of these albums, you'll be able to make adjustments. You can delete an album, rename it, you can publish it to Photovia, or you can edit the criteria of smart albums. There are a lot of different uses for albums here inside of Browse. It's a great way to catalog your favorite images, photos that you may have taken at a specific time, photos that have a specialized color rating, or just images that you know you really, really like.